In this media, you will learn about the moisture in air and precipitation. During the daytime, water from oceans, rivers, and so on evaporate forming water vapor. The water vapor formed mixes with the air, thus the presence of water vapor in the air is known as humidity. On a humid day, the air is full of water vapor in it. The capacity of air to hold the water vapor increases with the increase of temperature of the air. On a humid day, we can notice sweat from our bodies does not evaporate quickly and clothes getting longer time to dry. When the amount of water vapor rises in the air, it starts condensing. Condensation of water vapor results in the formation of water droplets. Clouds are floating masses of these water droplets. When the water droplets become heavy to float in clouds, they come down to the Earth's surface as precipitation. Precipitation can be of liquid form, as in the rainfall, and it can also be in solid form, as in snow, sleet, and hail. Rainwater is the major source for groundwater. Plants help to conserve the water. When the trees on the mountains are chopped down, the rainwater flows down the hills and result in flooding of low-lying regions. Liquid form of precipitation can be further classified into three types, namely conventional rainfall, or graphic rainfall, and the cyclonic rainfall. Rainfall is important for a region as it brings fresh water to Earth's surface and also responsible for the survival of plants and animals. Lack of adequate rainfall will lead to water scarcity and drought, whereas surplus rainfall will result to floods. Thus, you have learned about the moisture in air and precipitation.